Hello friends, welcome to Geeky Rabbit. So if you are using Linux as the main operating system or you want to use Docker on a cloud instance with Linux as the base OS, then this video will help you do this. Today we are going to see that how to install Docker on a Linux machine. We will be using a Ubuntu AWS instance for this. So we have created a Ubuntu instance and we will be using the same instance for configuring Docker. So let us first connect to that instance using a putty and you will need the ppk file for authentication so and the password will be ubuntu so i have successfully connected to a ubuntu instance and uh, first of all, let us make a note that the installation of Docker on Linux is the easiest one when compared to other operating systems. Docker was initially made for Linux as most of the, most of the containers earlier were Linux based. But now Windows containers have also been introduced and they are the hot topics for now. Docker can be installed using three ways. Firstly, that is by using a script. Uh, it is done by using a call script and it is always, uh, it always downloads the edge releases for Docker. Secondly, it can be run through Docker Store. It can be installed from here, and we have successful. Uh, we have specific instruction listed for each uh, distribution on the Docker site, whether it is a Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat, or any other Linux. And thirdly, by using a Docker machine. One thing that can be noticed here is that Red Hat, that is commonly called as the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, officially only supports Docker E, which is the paid version. So Docker has decided that a paid operating system would get a paid version of Docker and a free version will get a free version of it. Also, the installation process is pretty much same irrespective of if you are on a native computer, a VM or any other cloud instance like AWS, Azure or GCP. So the steps that we'll be seeing today are as follows while doing the Docker installation. First of all, we'll see how to install Docker on your system. Secondly, adding your user to the Docker group. So this should be done in order to get rid of writing the sudo with each Docker command every time you have to fire it. Thirdly, how to install the Docker tools, which is the Docker machine and the Docker compose. Then fourthly, installing Git on your system to play along with the different Git repository that you will come across. And lastly, we'll see how to install the code editors. So for installing Docker through the script, which is the easiest way that we, uh, that I think, just uh, we have to go to just, just go to get.docker.com. So once you hit it, you will see a set of commands. And uh, there are two sets of command which is necessary. So you have to fire the curl command on the Ubuntu instance and we have to run this sh.script. So let us copy this. And let us paste and these are the two commands that we are interested in. So now go to your putty. First of all, clear uh, the different things. Now just copy this curl command and fire it. Okay, now secondly, just copy this sh command and fire it. So, once this is done, we'll get a notification to add our users to the Docker group. So, once that is done, once if we are added the a user to our docker group there is no need to type in the sudo with each and every command so let's wait for the installation and now you can see that the client as well as the server version that is the 19.03.1 for docker has been installed now here you can see there is a warning that is asking you to add the user to the docker group so that can be done using the command so let us clear this out first and to add a particular user to the docker group just type in sudo user mod hyphen a capital g 
docker and the name of the user that is ubuntu in our case so the user has been successfully added and once this is done just restart the instance so that just changes are reflected so we'll close this and we'll again restart the instance so just now we have to close this also we've done this so now take the ip again and just open putty I hope you know how to connect to a particular AWS instance using a putty as we have not covered that in this part. And now login as Ubuntu. Now that you have added Docker on our system, you will need two other tools. So before doing that, just check it out whether Docker is perfectly installed by typing in Docker version and you'll get the proper Docker client as well as server version. So now Docker has been installed. The next step is to install the two tools with Docker. So when you are working on Linux machine, you will have to install them manually as compared to Windows and Mac in which it comes bundled with the Docker setup itself. In Linux, we have to take uh, the things in our hand a bit. The two other tools are Docker machine and the Docker compose. Each one is a single binary and can be found on Docker websites. So let's go and find first of all Docker machine. So if you go and put in docker machine on the docker docs page, you will get more information about it. So just click on install docker machine. And if you go in directly, if you see, if you're on Linux, we have to just fire in this command to install docker machine on our system. So I will copy this command and I will fire it here. So you can see the docker machine installation has started. And it will take some time too. Meanwhile, we'll go and just load the page for Docker Compose also. So just type in Docker Compose. And you will file install Docker Compose also. So here you will get all the installation details on as to how to install this on Windows or Windows Server or Linux. So these are the commands that we need to fire in. So Docker machine has been set up and now to check the Docker machine version, just type in Docker machine version and you will get the Docker machine version in here. So you can see Docker machine version 0.16.0 and the build number is updated here. So in the same way, we can also install Docker compose. Just open up the wiki page and just fire in this command to install it. Also, there is an alternative way to do Docker Compose installation, which we would be checking now. Just uh, go to the GitHub path and find the latest release, which is there on the Docker Compose. So let us type in github.com docker compose. So it is also available publicly on GitHub. And just go to the releases part and you will find the latest version of Docker Compose in here. So now one thing that you will notice here is this release and the Docker Compose release here. So this release varies a bit. So if you can see the release which is here is 1.24 and the release which is here is the updated one. So the release which is there on the GitHub is the most updated one and that's why we are uh, installing the Docker Compose from this GitHub repository. So you can see that the documentation website is clearly a little outdated when compared to this GitHub version of Docker Compose. Now take up the command from the GitHub website and install it initially. So if you fire this command initially, so let us take this command and fire it here. And uh, just click on enter. So you will see that there is some failure. So to do, to get around 
this just sudo a bit so type in sudo hyphen i and then type in the commands and then you will be seeing that the docker compose has been successfully installed and once docker compose has been installed just exit from the sudo mode and now just type in docker compose version to check in the docker compose version so now you can see docker compose has been successfully installed though in the same way we can do it for docker machine as well the choice is completely up to you but we prefer it the second way that is by installing it from the github link as we become sure that you would be installing the most updated version of docker machine as well as docker compose from there but if, if you need more info regarding installation you can always visit the docs.docker.com site now as we are installing these two tools manually it becomes mandatory to update it after a month or so as they are frequently updated hopefully changes this will be encrypted in the uh, docker installation package for linux by docker in the near future so that they are automatically updated after this is done we would now install git on the docker machine so that you can work with different git repository in the near future so to check if git is installed just type in git and i suppose git or git git is already installed so there is no need to install git but if you want to install just type first of all clear this and if you want to install git on a ubuntu instance just type in sudo apt install git so it will start the installation of git and uh, if you type in git dot version it will show you the updated version so you can see git uh, version 2.17.1 has been installed now there are different code editors that can be used but the most promising one is the visual code studio and you can download it from here so just go to code dot visual studio dot com and you can download the setup for visual code studio from here based on your machine so if you are having windows so just download the exact setup and you will be good to go so now you can see there are different flavors available windows debian mac rpm so download the debian one for ubuntu and just install it so it's a quite simple process so with this we come to an end of this video in this series which was on docker installation on linux hope you have liked it and do post your comments regarding it or any questions regarding it in the comment section below see you soon with more docker related content until then have a great time thank you